Good. Let me uh, go through with you how we find the mean and variance for the Poisson distribution. Mean and variance for Poisson. What is the mean of an X which has a Poisson distribution? Well, by definition of a discrete mean, we take all possible outcomes, which is summing X from zero to infinity, since the Poisson can be anything, uh, X times the density of X, and we would need to express the Poisson density with the lambda, in general, lambda to power of X, E to the minus lambda, dividing by X faculty. Now we're going to use this classical trick again that we do when we work with such uh, discrete distributions. We're going to use that since we sum from zero, and we have an x, a zero in the term, like that. We can remove that zero term and just sum from one to infinity. Then I am going to sort of uh, let x cancel out with x faculty down there to give me x minus one faculty. Then we're going to sort of do some change of variable. We're going to identify another distribution. So I'm going to take a lambda out here to obtain a lambda in x minus 1. That's the lambda of, of x there that is put into lambda times lambda in x minus 1. And then we just keep this one. Then let's see. Uh, we take the lambda here and put outside. And back in there, we do the classical change of variables. And instead of having x, I use y for x minus 1. And then when x is 1, y should, that corresponds to y being 0. And we're just going to take everything still up to infinity. When x is infinity, there's also y infinity. And we have lambda to y divided by y faculty e to minus lambda. And then we're basically done, because here we recognize a full summation of all um, binomial, sorry, Poisson probabilities, which equals up to 1. So we're left with the simple result for the Poisson, that the mean is just the lambda. So let's move straight on to finding the variance. To find the variance, I start out by finding the mean of the square of an x, to use the classical variance formula. Uh, what is the mean of the square of x in a Poisson? I again, I sum from 0 to infinity, x squared times the Poisson density, e to minus lambda, x faculty. I do my first term trick, which is a 0 like before. So I remove that. I write it away. Let one of the x's cancel out with the x faculty. So it's become x minus 1 faculty. I also take out the lambda right away to have x minus 1, e to minus lambda. Then I will take out the lambda, and I will rewrite, or basically just yeah, I will do the change of variables again. I will have y being x minus 1. Then I will sum from y to infinity of x times, sorry, then it's not x, actually, because what is x up here then becomes, then becomes, x becomes y plus 1. So I should put in y plus 1 here. And then lambda to y, e to minus lambda, divided by y, faculty. And we recognize same trick as when we did the variance for the binomial, if you want to see that one. We recognize that we are having the mean of, you could say, the mean of a binomial y plus 1. Because here we have all the binomial I'm sorry, as you say, Poisson probabilities. We have y is Poisson. 
So we have the mean of this one. So we use the fact that we know what is the mean of the Poisson. We just found that. That would be lambda, and then we still have the one, lambda plus one. And then to finalize things, to actually find the variance of the Poisson, I should take the mean of the square of x and subtract the square of the mean of x. The mean of the square of x is what I just found. That was lambda squared plus lambda. The square of the mean of x is lambda squared. So altogether, I get the well-known result that both the variance, like the mean for the Poisson, simply equals lambda, the average sort of number of events for the Poisson. That's it.